Hello all, welcome to ChessQuant. In this video, we will have a look at calculating the highest power of a number that is present in a factorial. Let's start with calculating the highest power of 3 in 15 factorial. In order to solve this, we have the greatest integer that is less than or equal to a given number x is represented by x enclosed within angle brackets. For example, the greatest integer less than or equal to 2.1 is represented by enclosing 2.1 within angle brackets and this will be equal to 2, right? Since 2 is the greatest integer that is less than or equal to 2.1. Now the highest power of 3 in 15 factorial is obtained by calculating the greatest integer that is less than or equal to 15 by 3 plus the greatest integer that is less than or equal to 15 by 3 square plus the greatest integer that is less than or equal to 15 by 3 cube and so on. This will be equal to the greatest integer less than or equal to 15 by 3 is 5. The greatest integer that is less than or equal to 15 by 9 is 1 plus the greatest integer that is less than or equal to 15 by 27 is 0 as 15 by 27 gives us a value between 0 and 1 and the greatest integer less than or equal to that particular value will be equal to 0 and hence ignoring the terms containing all the higher powers of 3 we have 5 plus 1 equal to 6 and this 6 represents the highest power of 3 in 15 factorial here we see that 3 is a prime number this technique of calculating the highest power of a number in factorial is applicable to primes. So generalizing, the highest power of a prime number p present in a factorial n is given by the greatest integer that is less than or equal to n by p plus the greatest integer that is less than or equal to n by p square plus the greatest integer that is less than or equal to n by p q plus so on. We proceed this way as long as the denominator is less than the numerator. Okay. Let's now have a look at calculating the highest power of a composite number in a factorial. Consider a composite number 15. How do we calculate the highest power of 15 in 24 factorial? Here 15 being a composite number we can express it in terms of its prime numbers as 3 into 5. So the highest power of 15 in 24 factorial will be equal to the highest power of the product of 3 and 5 in 24 factorial. If we independently calculate the highest power of 3 and 5 in 24 factorial, we will see that the highest power of 5 in 24 factorial will be less than the highest power of 3 in 24 factorial. Hence, the highest power of 15 in 24 factorial will be equal to the highest power of 5 in 24 factorial. Okay. Now, the highest power of 5 in 24 factorial can be obtained by calculating the greatest integer less than or equal to 24 by 5 which is equal to 4. So this 4 represents the highest power of 5 in 24 factorial which in turn represents the highest power of 15 in 24 factorial. Fine. Let's consider another example calculating the highest power of 9 in 32 factorial. 9 being a composite number can be written as 3 square. So the highest power of 9 in 32 factorial is equal to the highest power of 3 square in 32 factorial. Now how do we calculate the highest power of 3 square in 32 factorial? This can be obtained by first calculating the highest power of 3 in 32 factorial and then dividing this by the power of 3 which is equal to 2 and then calculating 
the greatest integer that is less than or equal to this particular expression that is the highest power of 3 in 32 factorial is obtained by calculating the greatest integer less than or equal to 32 by 3 plus the greatest integer less than or equal to 32 by 3 square plus the greatest integer that is less than or equal to 32 by 3 cube this entirely divided by 2 and then calculating its greatest integer that is less than or equal to this particular expression this is equal to 10 plus 3 plus 1 divided by 2 which gives us 7 hence the highest power of 3 square in 32 factorial is equal to 7 which is nothing but the highest power of 9 in 32 factorial in general the highest power of a number p to the power of a present in a factorial n where p is a prime number and a is a positive integer is given by the greatest integer that is less than or equal to the highest power of p in n factorial divided by a with this i would like to end the video here i hope it's clear thanks for watching